500-foot high bridge. In China, people love extreme bridges. You've probably heard about one of them, made of glass, which every year scares a lot of impressionable tourists. But it seems that we managed to find something better. Of course, this bridge is much shorter than its 300 meter long transparent brother, but the experience is no less exciting. Every daredevil who decides to walk on this bridge is protected by insurance, and this is not a superfluous measure. The fact is that you will have to walk at an altitude of 200 meters, and sometimes even jump. The beams that make up the bridge are located at different distances, from 50 to 120 centimeters. Can you jump more than a meter knowing that there's an abyss under you, even if it's covered by fog. Believe me, it seems easy only on the video, because even the most coolest tourists here sometimes give up their nerves to the altitude. One wrong move and you're already flying down. It's not a long fly, of course, thanks to the safety line. Some, by the way, are so scared to cross the bridge that they go in pairs. Well, or they stand in pairs. And there is a real risk of losing your shoes. And the insurance is not buying you a new pair. X Scream Arriving in Las Vegas, you can play with your nerves, not only by making a few bets in the casino or reenacting the story of the hangover, if this is not your kind of entertainment and you want something really frightening, then here is the X Scream, one of the most extreme rides in the world. <laughs> On the roof of the Stratosphere Hotel is located a device that resembles something between a children's swing and a slide. Below, there are 264 meters of absolute emptiness and a chic view of Las Vegas, but you most likely will not be enjoying the landscape or taking selfies. Forget about the likes on Instagram. The open trolley for eight people fixed on the edge of the roof seems firm, but once the adrenaline lovers are inside, the car suddenly breaks down, practically sliding off the rails. Ah! Ah, uh, don't worry, the attraction will stop on time, but only in order to raise the trailer and then again throwing you into the abyss. And then several times more. Just try not to scream. Volcano boarding. Everyone knows about ordinary surfing, but what about surfing a volcano? The answer to your obvious question, no. Lovers of this sport do not conquer waves of lava on their ultra-strength boards. They simply descend on an active volcano. This is possible only in several parts of the world. One of those places is in Nicaragua, in the department of Leon, where lovers of volcanic surfing come down the slope of the volcano the Cerro Negro, whose height reaches 728 meters. This 150-year-old active volcano erupted about 23 times, and less than 20 years have passed since the last eruption. Under the layer of cold black slag, you can even feel the heat of the fiery mountain, but there is no time to touch the pebbles. The sportsmen ride their boards, usually of metal or wood, firmly grasping a rope and whee! The angle of inclination of the slope is almost 45 degrees, allowing you to reach a speed of 86 kilometers per hour. By the way, the organizers of such entertainment claim that the most common injury during volcanic surfing is a mild rash, like an allergy to the volcano. The rider going down the hill at high speed raises a bunch of fine dust and stones that can irritate the skin, so it's best to keep your mouth shut. But they say that the impressions of volcano surfing are simply stunning. Would you like a ride? Furious Baco. A roller coaster. What could be surprising about a roller coaster? Oh, but don't jump to conclusions. The Spanish attraction Furious Baco is unique in its own way. It was the fastest in Europe until August 2009, and although today has already lost this title, the attraction still surprises fans of extreme emotions. How about the ability to accelerate from 0 to 135 kilometers per hour in just three seconds? The acceleration exceeds even the acceleration of gravity. For 850 meters, the riders are rushing, diving into the tunnels, leaning dangerously, and almost immersing themselves in the water of the lake. Take care of your feet. By the way, instead of the usual wagons, the creators constructed a slightly different moving element, and people literally fly through the air. What do you think? How many shoes did tourists lose on the furious backhoe in its 12 years of existence? Zip World Velocity 
Flying over an abyss is quite a scary activity, but what about flying with your head forwards and your hands tightly pressed to your body? By the way, this kind of entertainment can be tried in Wales in the UK. Careful instructors will tie you with a bunch of safety belts, show you what to hold on to, and in an instant, you're no longer a human but a rocket instead. A supersonic warhead if you want. Fortunately, the helmet also comes with a special flying costume, and on the way, you won't meet a single wall. Well, probably. Everyone who wishes to fly over the mountains of Wales is offered special glasses, and to refuse them is a very bad idea. The fact is that on this attraction, you could accelerate to 161 kilometers per hour, and your eyes probably won't like it very much. But the views are awesome. True, there will be little time to enjoy them. The whole flight lasts less than a minute. although the distance exceeds one and a half kilometers. That's what speed means. Pterodactyl You probably know that adrenaline lovers would do anything, even travel around the world in search of adrenaline. If you are one of those persons, here's one place that will make your hair go straight. The attraction Pterodactyl guarantees tons of adrenaline for your satisfaction. This extreme place is in the Winds Mountain Park Cave in Manitou Springs, Colorado, where you can enjoy an epic 200-foot freefall in the Williams Canyon. So, are you ready? No, no, no! Jesus to begin with, you'll be raised to a tremendous height on the edge of a cliff, and then launch at a speed of about 100 miles per hour. Whee! And don't let the name scare you away. Despite the fact that it looks like a known kind of dinosaur, the attraction is absolutely safe, as reliable anchorages will not let you slip out at the peak of emotional stress. By the way, during extreme skiing, you can enjoy the views of the canyon and appreciate their beauty. Well, if you're conscious, of course. Roller Coaster Zipline What would happen if you mix a trolley and a roller coaster, and then put the results somewhere in the forest and show it to tourists? It'd look like the roller coaster zipline. True, this unusual attraction doesn't have a death loop, of course, but you can get a lot of adrenaline without it. Firstly, the speed of movement is considerable. And secondly, there are trees all around. And you can tell yourself as much as you like that the track is surely calculated so that no one crashes into anything and you have a solid helmet on your head. But it's not easy to deceive the brain. And don't forget about sudden climbs, during which you'll be thrown up and down at high speed. The falls aren't very scary and the height isn't very large, but what an effect. It's very difficult to unclench your hands. And in this case, you have insurance. But just imagine the awareness. A great attraction. Royal Rush Sky Coaster The Royal Rush Sky Coaster is located in the state of Colorado over the Royal Gorge, on top of the Arkansas River. The height of the attraction above the ground is 30 meters, and over the canyon is over 350 meters. So why are we telling you all these terrible numbers? Well, the fact is that those who want to get a portion of adrenaline are firmly fixed, then raised with the help of a special mechanism, and down they go. At the most unexpected moment, you experience freefall right above the gorge. But fortunately, a strong cable keeps the fans of extreme sports alive, and they swing over the abyss at a speed of up to 80 kilometers per hour. They say that it's a less terrible version of the classic bungee jumping. Wait, less terrible? Really? Flight in Weightlessness each of us at least once flew in a dream and woke up with the feeling that it would be great to experience something like that in reality. Alas, no one has neither the abilities of Superman nor the magical dust of Tinkerbell, but we'll tell you a secret. In fact, you can fly without any fantastic gizmos. There is a real chance to soar in the air in a state of the most real cosmic weightlessness, generated on an airplane laboratory. No magic, just the most ordinary physics. To catch the state of weightlessness, the airplane, as it were, goes up and down a hill in the air, and inside the cabin for a short time, all items lose their weight, an unforgettable feeling. By the way, in the same way they shot the clip of the band OK Go to the song Upside Down and Inside Out, if you haven't seen it, look at it, it's worth it. Huashan Cliffside Path 
If you can't live without action and just dream of a new portion of adrenaline, then this extreme attraction on the Chinese mountain Huashan is perfect for you. Brave souls from all over the world come here to prove their own fearlessness, as well as people who dream of getting rid of the fear of heights. Believe me, if you can walk along this mountain path, you will forever forget your phobias. The road, laid along steep vertical rocks, is difficult to master. Here you will not be provided with any handrails or fences, just a rock, planks, metal pins, chains and steep stone steps. By the way, if you're thinking about the safety of the attraction, you shouldn't worry. Every tourist wears safety equipment, and the flow of visitors to the dangerous mountain road increases every year, which means that everything here is safe. By the way, those chains that you can see on all the photos and videos have been screwed to the mountain more recently. Earlier on Huashan, there were only boards, and it was really dangerous. 